In this video tutorial, I shall demonstrate how to create virtual machines. You will need an OS installation disk, VMware player, and enough RAM. So let's get started by navigating to the URL that's in the annotation and downloading VMware player. Now you might think that VMware player does not support uh, creating virtual machines, but with the 3.0 software update, VMware player has added the feature to create virtual machines just like VMware workstation. So open up the software and select create a new virtual machine. Now either pop in your installation disk or browse for the image that you're going to install from. VMware has an easy install feature which it will uh, automatically install it without any prompts and all you have to do is enter in your user account information. I'm going to be installing Ubuntu 9.10 for this demonstration. Now click next and give the virtual machine a reasonable name and a location where you want to be saved. And then select how much disk space you want in your virtual hard disk. I chose 5 gigabytes. And now click next and click finish. Now VMware player will boot from the ISO image or CD. You may get a prompt to install the virtual machine additions. Uh, this is optional, but it's very useful because it fixes many compatibility issues from having virtual machines. Now, as you see, it's a virtual machine running inside my Windows 7 installation. And it's very useful because you don't have to install the operating system natively or go through the process of booting from a live CD to, to test it out. And now, as you see, the installation is finished, and the virtual machine has rebooted, and now we will be presented with the boot logo and the login screen. As you see, the user account was already created, and I can log out, I mean, I can log in with the password that I created. As you see, this is a full-fledged operating system. There are many default applications, which I will demonstrate. And um, as you see, Ubuntu is a very nice-looking uh, Linux distribution. Uh, let's try out the calculator by going to Applications, Accessories, and Calculator. This is a very simple, standard calculator. And as you see, it works in performing uh, calculations. And uh, it's very nice of Ubuntu to come with a full-fledged Office suite called OpenOffice, which is fully compatible with Microsoft Office. And here is OpenOffice Writer, which is similar to Microsoft Word. And as you see, it is fully functional. And there's also a full-fledged uh, user file system. As you see, if I go to Places and Home Folder, it will be brought to my user state where all my files are kept. It's very similar to Windows Explorer. Now, as you see, uh, the internet browser, Firefox, uh, comes pre-installed and works perfectly with Ubuntu. And it automatically connects to the internet thanks to VMware uh, player's network abilities. And that's it. That's all there is to it to get started with creating your own uh, virtual machines. And thank you for watching this video tutorial. And for more tutorials, please go to the hackersjournal.tk.